How's it guys? Woo! Today is a cold, miserable morning, but we've got some fun, exciting stuff planned. First plan of the day is I'm going to this place here, Manor Epica, with my sister for breakfast, because they do half price breakfasts, and she is not gonna see me before I go away. How's it? How's this vlogging today? Yes, I am vlogging today. <coughs> Sonia went for an egg Florentine on a croissant, and I got croissant French toast, so French toast but made with a croissant. Ooh, look at this. And to drink over here, we've got a red cappuccino, which is a rooibos tea with cappuccino foam. How's the food? That breakfast was uh, all right. I mean, for 50% of breakfast, it was good, but yeah, not the best. Now I'm on my way home, and I'm picking my dad up, and then the exciting news that I alluded to is I am going to Orms to buy a camera. Sonia has been sick this past week, and Sav also was feeling a bit under the weather and was sick this past week, and now I think that I am getting slightly sick. I'm helping myself to a flucin because are you ready for this? Because on Sunday I am flying to Spain. Yeah, on Sunday I'm flying to Spain. I'm going to Valladolid. I, I feel like I recognize the name though. So I think maybe they went there in Geordie Shore or something. I'm going with Ford. They invited me to go on an experience event thing um, and check out their new range of Ford Fiestas. That's the plan for Sunday. I'll fly and then Monday and Tuesday I'll be there and then I'll fly back on Wednesday. I don't want to be sick for that so bottoms up. Hi dad. Hello Matthew. You ready to go help me buy a camera? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here we are, Orms. Do you know what you're doing eh? I haven't got it <laughs> John has been taking care of us. This is my new baby. Awesome, thanks very much, John. I appreciate it. So here we have the Portra 400 finally done. Just getting it developed now at Orms as well. I just want to say thanks to the guys at Orms. They actually did me such a good price on this camera. If you guys have been there before, you will see that they actually have everything, like everything. They actually have everything. Can't recommend them enough. Orms, 10 out of 10. And there we have it. Stoked, let's open it up. Manuals, we'll read those later. Cables, battery and charger, yep. strap. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Check this out. So, on the 6D, you didn't get. Hold on, I can't show you. Uh, hold on. So, on the 6D, you didn't get these little. this joystick pad. I know it's not a huge thing and it's like that's not really what you should look for in your camera but I'm stoked about that. <laughs> a lifelong dream come true. So the first camera, the first proper camera that I ever used was the 5D Mark III which was Ben's old one. When we first met, actually if you guys watched the Q&A you, you found out that we met on the road trip and... Okay wait hold on. So we met on the road trip. That's when Ben had brought his uh, 5D Mark III with him and that's actually when I first learned about photography, that's when I first started to use uh, cameras and that's when I fell in love with the Canon because obviously it was the first one I learned on. And I wanted a Mark III for so long and I ended up buying this little, it was a Canon EOS M, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for because I didn't know exactly what I wanted, but I bought it, I played around with it for a while and then a friend of mine was selling an old 60 which is what I ended up buying, which is what I was using for about two years. And that's the kind of camera that I played around with and got to know Canons and photography on. Finally upgrading to the Mark IV, I'm, I'm super chuffed. Obviously I haven't even used it yet. I played with Benz, but other than that, I haven't used this specific one yet. <sighs> I'm stoked. Camera is open, just letting it breathe. The tannins need to come out or something. I don't know, I'm talking on my eye. But there is something I wanted to chat to you guys about. So earlier today, I mentioned that I am going to Spain on Sunday and I'm going with Ford. So I just wanted to explain to you guys exactly the whole situation. It's pretty much, it's right up my alley. Like it's travel, there's food involved. I'm there, okay, it's driving nice cars, I'm there. I would be there regardless, but I just thought I would tell you guys that this is a paid partnership, it is a paid collaboration. Even if they weren't paying me anything, I would still very much be on board. What I have always maintained 
and what I will always aim to maintain on this channel, and I would like to be called out if I don't, is my transparency in terms of what is being paid for. I feel like if I don't say that something is sponsored, then you guys can just assume that it's not sponsored. This whole thing is basically what's made it possible to get the camera. Yes, I have now bought the camera before the trip so that I have the camera that I can use it on the trip. And I'm really grateful to my dad for helping me out with that. I'll go say thanks to him later. And yes, yeah, so that's, that's how... I managed to purchase this camera, if you guys are wondering, because no, I'm not loaded. I don't have big bucks piled up in banks and have a huge bank account. That'd be nice one day, maybe. But I just thought I would explain that to you guys and be open with you guys about that. So yes, maybe I am rambling on a little bit, but this is my first proper brand deal that I'm doing on the YouTube channel as well as on Instagram. I'm really excited to actually get out to Spain and try and get some good content. Like that's... That's what's driving me at the moment. I'm really stoked about this and I hope that it comes across and I hope that you guys can understand how this all works. If you don't, please feel free to post any comments in the comment section um, and I'll try and reply to all of you. And the best thing is, this is sheer coincidence, okay? They didn't see my Spanish omelet and go, wow, this guy really doesn't know how to make a Spanish omelet. We're gonna need to send him to Spain. But while I'm there, I'm gonna see if I can find a place that's gonna make me the perfect Spanish omelet. What is it? Tortilla de patatas. Was that good? Spanish people? No? Tortilla de patata. Tortilla de patata. Tortilla de patata. Are you finished now? No, I'm not finished. I just need to say thank you to some to some old man there for helping me purchase my camera. I'm your banker. You're my banker, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, Dad. But with, uh, like with all the banks. Oh, no, interest. No, 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 it's not that. You yeah. keep your money with me, yeah. not I keep my money with you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to the shops. So I'm going to leave you here. Um, my dad is going to babysit you. You should be okay. My dad will get you some milk or something if you want. Okay. Okay. See you later. I'm going to go get myself a haircut. My hair on this side, I don't like it. There's too much. There's too much hair and I would like it to be cleaned up. You know, a little pamper day. Edge for men. I've got a booking in 50 minutes, which is fine because that gives me plenty of time to deal with all this telecom nonsense. My order of worst businesses to deal with, in order, are number one, your service providers, which is like any internet service provider or cell phone um, service provider. Number two, banks. Number three, insurance of any kind. And number four, car rentals. That's my list. Absolute worst customer service all the, all the time. It's not actually exclusive to South Africa. They're just horrible to deal with in general. So I'm going to Telcom, which is over there. But just a side note, while I'm walking past, this place, Hong, is my favorite sushi place in Cape Town. Super low-key because it's in like a shopping center, but best sushi. So that only took a cool 40 minutes. The guys that, were de that I was dealing with were very helpful. That's the thing about my list of four businesses that I hate working with. It's because everything, when you deal with them, just takes forever. So it doesn't matter how nice the person is. Four. What do you guys think? He also trimmed my beard a little bit, which was cool. Also, big talking point. I'll tell you when we get outside now. A big change for me, but my hair is actually going to the other side now. The barber said, that my head is infested with crowns, he said. That's not a bad thing. Crowns is in like the points from where your hair originates. I always used to wear my hair from left over to the right, but now I'm doing the other way around, going from right to left. Which no one ever told me is the way it should be before, except for Steve Booker on Coded UK. So props to Steve. Hello, my baby. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. There we go. What do you think of my haircut? It looks very nice. Looks nice, eh? For lunch today, what we have is a cheese, ham, and tomato sandwich. And then my dad's chicken soup for the soul, just to make sure I don't get sick. Plenty of parsley in it. Really good source of vitamin C and iron. Sam picked me up on our way home from work, and now we are in pick and pay among all the other couples. Uh, what are we gonna make for dinner? What are we gonna get? We're supposed to have a lentil bake, which is real healthy. Yeah, but we're gonna do creamy chicken and mushroom pasta. Okay, let's go. Mushroom, spaghetti, chicken, onion, parsley, cream. We've got stock and white wine at home and dessert. We've coated the chicken in flour, pepper, salt, and parsley. And now they've just gone into a pan with some butter. And then you just wanna turn it and get your chicken cooked. <coughs> and once your chicken is done, 
it comes out, chills on a plate, and then into the pan goes your mushrooms, your onion, and your garlic. Oh, I forgot, whoops, my bad. I mean, uh, you were supposed to add cream and stuff, and then the chicken back in, and then cook the spaghetti, and then you guys, I mean, you can figure it out. Just having some jolly jammers and watching O-T-I-N-B. Mm -hmm. Orange is the new black. <laughs>